Hey there, y'all. It's the Reverend again, and we're uh, we're here with another L2P Network video road test. Um, today we're looking at a uh, a really cool thing that I've been uh, looking forward to for a long time. Saw it at a trade show for the first time probably two years ago. Um, this is the Line 6 X2 wireless, but note, you don't see that as a guitar pack. That is a handheld wireless vocal mic, digital. Um, uh, Bottom line here is, if you know anything about digital, excuse me, about wireless, um, uh, the reason it doesn't sound as good as a cable usually is you have to compress the signal before you transmit it and uh, then try and expand it again at the other end. And you inevitably lose some of the detail of the sound. Because this is digital and it's being converted from analog to digital right, you know, an inch away or less than an inch away from the capsule, um, uh, you really get outstanding tone out of this. Uh, let's take a look at what's inside real quick. Um, and you have your receiver, um, which is the uh, XDR95, which is identical to the uh, receiver that I use for uh, for my guitar. I use the same system with the belt pack for guitar. But like we said, this is a vocal mic, and here is the uh, the t well, what is the transmitter for a wireless? Um, uh, it runs off two AA batteries, which are right under this piece here, which unscrews. And um, uh, looks like it's pretty easy to use. We're going to be using this tonight in a uh, in a gig with a uh, blues band, and we're actually going to uh, uh, kind of pass it around. It'll be with uh, a female singer for a set, and then one male singer for a set and then the other male singer for a set so we'll be able to get a, a pretty good idea of, uh, of how it operates with different voices um, uh, so there we go let's get this thing out okay this is the uh, X2 Line 6 uh, digital microphone um, uh, we've been through a sound check sounded great we'll, we'll get some performance footage here in a minute again dead simple to use the, the thing that's nice about this is that you don't have to worry about a lot of uh, uh, frequency management or anything else. There are five choices, and that's it. One, two, three, four, and five. You see the little blue light there says it's in channel one, and um, you just put the mic to the same channel. It's it's a piece of cake. Um, two antennas. Here's here's something that you might not know. When you do your antennas, Danny just did the exact wrong thing. <laughs> oh, in? Yeah, always no. You always want them at different angles from each other. Oh. Because the way these things work is that each antenna is picking up something and then the transmitter is deciding which signal is the best. If they're both at the same angle, the same they're thing. picking up the same right. thing. Right. So there you go. Uh, okay, we'll uh, be back. <laughs> So there you can see with the blues band, we did two different vocalists, one male, one female, very different microphone and vocal styles, no problems with either of them, uh, just work great. We don't have it on video, but we also use this mic with a hard tribute and a singer who really, really hit the mic hard 
never had any issues with the clipping or overloading. This uh, Line 6 X2 digital mic is a wonderful product. Dead simple to use. I would really suggest you take a look at it.